Good afternoon. Right, so um, for the next part of the uh, heart plaque, we're going to use uh, sand for the texture. I'm going to put down sand on the background and then stencil and add it to it. It gives a nice rough edge and it's especially great if you're then going to use your um, turquoise, orange and brown to make it look rusty and so forth. So the first thing I'm going to do is put down some of my gel fusion mixture. It doesn't really matter what thickness you make it, but you don't particularly want it too thick. Um, I mean, this is a little bit thicker than I'd want. So in my mixing pot. And <clears throat> this is how I do it. I, li I literally just keep using my mixing pot and changing what I've got in there to suit what I want to do. I would normally scoop that in rather than pour it in like that so i'm just gonna make this more fluid and then if i want to go back to do stenciling or something like that after then i just put some more powder in it and that's generally how i use it like i say initially you may want to use your mixing um you know recipes whatever you want to call them methods but as you get to recognize it you'll find that you just you you won't need to so so when you're using sand always use it on um a mix a uh, powder and gel mix if you use it just into the gel what happens because the sand's heavier than a gel it actually just um goes down onto the bottom but it's also great if you want to create a more structured 3d smooth um raised bit without using so much of the powder so i'm just going to put that down quite thin because I'm, I'm really supposed really just using it more as an adhesive for the sand but i also want it a little bit you know i don't want it perfect i don't want it perfectly smooth And you could obviously just do this by putting some glue down if you wanted, but part of the point of the pod art is that you can just have the one tub out. Okay, so, and then now I've done that, and I know it's what I'm just going to take off a little bit of the excess. And as simply as that. Then getting a bit of a piece of card. And this is just so that I've got texture underneath. Uh, oh, so let's just get some sand on there. Underneath the stencil that I'm going to do. There we go, just get it all on. Shake it off. <clears throat> Put what I haven't used back in the bag. He uses such a small amount. Right, let's just dry it off. nice and dry so I should be all right to uh, stencil now so yeah, let's see how see if that's the right thickness well, I should be okay let's have a look remember when you hold it out you want to be able to hold it for a good few seconds I think that is slightly runnier than I'd like. No, just get a bit more powder in. Oh, 
Let's just concentrate this middle bit. Now let's say, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, that's better. Right. So I've got this stencil, which is one of my favourites to use, but it is quite a tricky one to use because you've got all the little bits. But we'll give it a go. And I don't want to take it. So make sure it's flat. And then with this one, I'll find, let's try and get that down. It might ooze there because uh, it's obviously raised when it's on one of my domes. So let's just try and get it. Down. And because this stencil does have all these, I'm really just pushing it in. Try and get them held down. come in and let's see if I can get some of this excess off without moving all my little right fingers crossed oh there we go oh yes so now I'm going to sprinkle my sand over that part and I'm going to do it a little bit more controlled and use a spoon. how you simply create a nice texture background let me just oh, pop out of mine and you can give it a try off And there we have it. So we've got the sand on the background and then through the stencil, we've got that sand texture on top. So when it comes to spraying it, it'll make the spray be all different tones, which are what we're going to do next on the heart. So thank you for joining me. Bye.